Impact. Impact. That was four, right? Yeah. Correct. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Matt here today at East Elgin Sportsman Association for the uh, CRPS match. This is actually a weekend here at EESA because today is the CRPS match, so your normal PRS style shooting competition. And then tomorrow is the X22 series. Uh, we'll take one thing at a time. Today is the CRPS match and uh, we're shooting here on the 300 yard range. The course of fire is made by Chris Tischler, which uh, he likes to do some pretty tricky stuff. We have a pretty cool barricade that I see already on stage two, which is a suspended horse, which should be pretty fun. Weather-wise, it's pretty humid. I think it's like 25 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, it'll feel a little bit hotter when the sun comes out, but we might actually get a thunderstorm that rolls in here sometime around noon. So we'll see how it holds up. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay. We're in a little bit more of a condensed firing line today, so there might be a little bit more background noise than you hear. So I apologize for that, but there's nothing we can do about it. We'll just try our best to get uh, some good camera angles or whatnot. Uh, so welcome to uh, the first Southwestern Ontario match, I guess. Yeah, for the year. Uh, it's going to be a condensed year. Our uh, Eastern Championships are in July this year. Uh, I want to thank Chris for coming up with the awesome course of fire. For those that haven't seen, the Course of Fire. Uh, if you've never shot a Chris Tischler match, you're gonna love today. It's probably the wildest, the wildest so far to, out of his uh, fevered imagination. So uh, uh, enjoy the day. Uh, other than that, have a safe match. Uh, I'm gonna give you the squads out right now, and I'll need a squad representative to come and get a tablet once the uh, once the walkthrough's done. first stage of the day for my squad was stage 4 titled a pyramid scheme. This was shot from a pyramid shaped barricade and there were 10 positions to shoot from, one round in each position at the triangle target at 140 yards. Impact! Impact! Shooter ready? Uh, shooter ready. Three, two, one, engage. How much time? One minute. Impact. 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 Shooter clear. Unload. Make clear. No, of 
Impact. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So next up is Liam, and then I'm in the hole, and Aaron's in the deep hole. Can I please have somebody do it for me? Impact. Impact. Got you for eight. Dropped two points out of ten. Uh, I think my elevation was slightly off, so I adjusted it part way through the stage. Uh, the wind was uh, pretty calm when I was shooting it, so I believe it was the elevation that I was missing off of. Uh, maybe should have taken time to really dial in that parallax first. It was also the time stage. The first shooter in my squad, John, cleaned it, so um, and he he shot it pretty quick. quick that, but, and he shot it pretty quickly, I think, so it'll probably do quite well on the time stage. All right. Someone shot it in 99 seconds. Yeah, that, that was quick. I shot mine in 110 seconds, but I was really taking my time because first stage of the day, I just want to make sure that everything is dialed in. Stage five was titled F COVID. There were five targets for this stage, two viruses at 80 yards, a small X at 120 yards, a big X at 160 yards, and a round target at 220 yards. Shooters would alternate between the top and bottom support of the F-shaped barricade and engage the targets in varying sequences. Impact! 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 Oh, this, this is going to be 45 seconds. Right. And it's going to be... Good back. Good back. Safe. Good back. Safe. One at two at each, right? Oh no. Time? Ten seconds. Thank you. You got her. Three, two. You hit it? Nope. Okay. I can load here. Yep, load my training. Shooter ready? Uh, yeah, shooter ready. Three, two, one, engage. That was a hit, huh? I heard it. Yeah, I think it was. my time please? 20 seconds. Okay. We're back.
eight of ten wasn't too bad. The, the wind really picked up halfway through my stage when I started engaging the second distance. So I decided to, uh, to just hold whatever I felt like, and I impacted both of them, I believe. So that was kind of lucky. And then the, uh, the the large green target, which is the furthest target for the stage, the indicator is not working, so it's really hard to spot. I decided to use my tripod just because, uh, you know, try it out a little bit, and it worked well. It deploys really quickly, as you can probably see. Time-wise, I think I ended with like maybe five to 10 seconds on the clock, so it was cutting it kind of close. It's really humid <laughs> right now. It's not too hot temperature-wise, but it feels really humid, so I feel like uh, maybe if the rain does come by, it might help a little bit with the humidity, so we'll see how it goes. Stage one was Sasquatch from the treetop. Apparently the stage was designed and named after a song, which not many people knew about, but it seems like Chris Tischler was a big fan of the song, so maybe look it up after this video. This one's the, called the Sasquatch from the treetop. Not very many people know about the Tom Connors, Stompin' Tom Connors song about the Sasquatch, so you gotta have to listen to it so I don't seem like some crackhead living in my mom's basement making this stuff up. There were three Sasquatch targets for this stage at 75, 105 and 130 yards. From the first position, shooters would engage the close Sasquatch with three rounds. From the second position, shooters would engage the middle Sasquatch with three rounds. And from the third position, shooters would engage the furthest Sasquatch with another three rounds for a total of nine rounds. Timer ready. Can I get a timer for squad five, please? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, engage. Shooter is ready. Three, two, one, engage. I got you for eight, Matt. Yep. Okay, okay. So Thomas is on deck. Jonathan's in the hole. I'm clear. Oh, sorry, Claire. Thanks. Just set one off the left, eh? Yeah. Stage three for the day was the Sasquatch stage, which is apparently based off of a song that nobody knows. So there's three Sasquatches walking out from 80 yards to uh, uh, 130 yards. And they're fairly small. Obviously, they're kind of like a silhouette of a Sasquatch, so the area you have to work with is, is not just like a square, it's a little bit strange. So I was just holding for basically the torso, uh, which gives you basically the most surface area to work with. I dropped one shot on the second Sasquatch, so I got eight of nine. Uh, the wind, is, it wasn't too bad. I was holding basically straight up for everything. Oh, look at the wind now. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Impact. Impact. Thank <laughs> you. 
position on position one, the top of the F. Engage the. Back. It has a tension. Stage two, Crazy Horse. This was shot from a suspended horse barricade, which was very unique. Obviously designed and built by Chris T himself, of course. There were six targets for this stage, two steer heads at 70 yards, three varying sized pigs at 155 yards, and a large moonshine jug at 235 yards. Shooters would engage the targets from near to far while sitting on top of the crazy horse. Karen, I'll uh, take over if you uh, if you're ready. Oh, you pack, stop. Get back. 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 Impact! 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 Yeah, buddy. 30 seconds to spare. Three, two, one, engage. I do right every weekend. I think we're going to have to carry it. I think we're going to have to carry it. I think we're going to have in fact, in fact, that was big. Sorry, as soon as I get my toe, I will be able In fact, middle one, uh, middle one. Impact. What's the two Sasquatches along the roadway that the last one drove over to the last one? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Good jug. 40 seconds left. Impact. I thought it was the middle left. Impact. Middle right left. Yeah, middle right left. Impact. 30 seconds. Impact. Impact. It's flashing, isn't it? That's it. I'm loading and show clear. No? Okay. Got a hit on that last one, right? Got oh. you for seven. That's good. Good clear. Thanks. Use that. Alright, we're done here. Impact. You ready? The horse was really fun. It's really wobbly, more wobbly than I was expecting. Behind your scope, which I'm sure uh, you'll see in the target footage, there's a lot of movement and you're kind of waiting for it to settle down as you're pulling shots off. Uh, so I dropped three, uh, basically one at each distance, which kind of sucks. But it was a fun stage. The targets were good and the wind was non-existent. So I was just holding straight up basically. And I think all the shots I missed were just due to the movement of the horsey. Basically a monsoon. 
Uh, you can hear the rain. I don't know how well you can hear me. But uh, we stopped the firing line just because it's pretty ridiculous with the wind and the rain. And uh, hopefully it passes quickly so that we can get back to shooting. Stage 3 was titled Child's Play. There was a third size IPSC at 120 yards, another third size IPSC at 160 yards, and a two third size IPSC silhouette at 245 yards. The round count for the stage was 10. From the first marked position, shooters would engage T1 and T2 with two shots each. From the second position, shooters would engage T1 with one round and T2 with two rounds. And from the third position off any of the ropes, shooters would engage T3 with three rounds. Impact. Stand by, engage. One minute remaining. And Chris, that one round that you I, I, I knew as soon as I pulled out, like, I, like, I dropped one point. I was feeling really good on the stage. There's no wind, and I could have cleaned it. But the one point I dropped, I had the trigger prepped and everything. Um, so any movement was going to break the trigger, and I moved a little bit and pushed it off target, which really sucks. But that's on me. Um, besides that, it was pretty good. The targets were fairly generous, and the last, uh, the last target was a big Ipsic um, at about 250 uh, off a of rope. So I went to the lowest rope because you can shoot off any of them because it was most stable. But I forgot the ground was the, the ground was wet from the monsoon rain that just came in. So now my butt's wet. <laughs> I should have worn my rain pants. But it is what it is. Hopefully we dry out and. Now we're gonna take a lunch break, reset the firing line for the next five rounds. I think it's already past noon, so it looks like we'll be here pretty late today. Uh, but luckily, we don't have to drive all the way back to Ottawa tonight because uh, we have the X-22 here tomorrow to shoot. Stage nine was Little Tank, Big Tank. There were two tank traps for the stage and two targets for the stage. The two targets was an LAV at 135 yards and a tank at 220 yards. Shooters would engage the LAV from the small tank trap from each of the four positions with one round each. They would then transition to the large tank trap and engage the tank with one round each from each of the four positions, and then transition back to the small tank trap and engage the LAV one round each from each of the four positions again for a total of 12 rounds and 12 positions. That was four, right? Correct. 
Well, one minute. Thirty seconds. Time? Eleven seconds. Five seconds. Oh, me. Yes, that will be clear. Well done, boys. One, two, one. Oh, we can do it. Impact! Miss! That's it. That's it. Impact. Eight. That one I won. You kill the hostage, that's what counts. Impact. Hey, Aaron, Julian, Matthew. I guess it's above 80%. Impact. Aaron, you want to tell me what happened there? Yeah. Because you say we're starting there, I rolled my dope card for where we said we're starting. Did you read my Ten Commandments? You never read my Ten Commandments? No, but we changed. Still take a man. Yeah. I changed my go three times between people saying yes, no, yes, no, yes. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming in. I thought you were starting here. I read it on my. I'll help him. If I could see it, like, no What's my time, please? No, 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 no. 40 seconds. Or if I could see the swirl. So I, I walked up to the guy who was my dope card and went on. Yeah, yeah. 30 seconds. What's your name? 1.5. Yeah, that's it. Attack. Where's the rhythm? Yeah, the worst mistakes I did was the wrong Impact. 11 seconds. Impact. Four seconds to spare. For 10 out of 12, man. Sounds good, thank you. I'm clear. Impact. Both the targets were quite generous for the wind, and right now there's no wind, luckily. Uh, but that close target, it's pretty pretty uh, short, so you want to make sure that you're really steady before you take that shot. Uh, I think I think my misses were one on each of the targets, but it is what it is. It was pretty fun. Uh, I like a lot of movement in stages, and this one definitely fit the criteria for that. This morning was a little bit rough for me. I feel like I haven't made any mental errors, which is always my goal in these matches, so I'm happy about that so far. But I just feel like today, for some reason, I'm, I'm having trouble getting steady behind the rifle. Like, I feel like I have some jitters. Not from being nervous or anything, just having issues settling down behind the rifle today. So hopefully I can kind of settle in. And, uh, you know, I ate some food during lunch, and I think it's helping a bit. So we'll see how it goes from here. And we have four stages remaining. Stage 10 was hostage takers. On the engage command, the shooter would engage the two hostage takers, alternating left and right with 10 rounds. If at any point the shooter missed the hostage taker or hit the hostage target, they would have to transition to on top of the pylon and engage the reset target which was an IPSC silhouette at 190 yards. Upon hitting the reset target, the shooter could then transition back to position 1 and start alternating between the two hostage takers again with their remaining rounds. Actually 1 minute and 3 seconds. What's that? 3, 2, Oh impact eh? <laughs> Impact! 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 Ah! Impact! Stand by. Three, two, one. Engage. Yeah.
Impact. 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 Two more. Impact. Impact. Well, well, that was easy. That was like 15 seconds. Told you you didn't need that big target. Yeah, I didn't show clear. All right, well, that works. Uh, it was the same hostage taker target as the CRPS championships last year, but this time at a more reasonable distance with a lot less wind, aka zero wind. So luckily, I was able to do it uh, pretty easily. I cleaned the stage 10 of 10 on. You could see I was going pretty quickly. I was just waiting for the targets to settle down a little bit before I knew I could send another one. So I wasn't rushing it more than I needed to, but I probably could have slowed down at the same time. It was pretty good. Uh, I used the tripod just kind of for fun. The targets are fairly generous for the 90 yards that they were placed at. I think they're probably three inch targets, maybe three and a half inch. So yeah, it was pretty good. A lot of high scores on the stage. Yeah. Dory, do not put two stage on the same page. I dialed this one. I was supposed to dial this one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stage six was real big fish. There were three fish targets at 90 yards, 130 yards, and 160 yards. This was a 12 round stage and was shot from a very unique looking barricade. I actually didn't realize this, but the barricade was made to look like a fishing reel. There were four positions marked on the barricade, and in each position, shooters would have to engage the fish in varying sequences. Impact. Time. Needs to be a little bit quicker. Time. I'm not time. No, it is time. Time already. Stand by. Engage. The golf cart umbrella holder. Lots of time. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they do have golf uh, holder. This one's small, so I had to click on the stem here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, you'll get it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Can't tell where those are going. Uh -huh. 45 seconds. Impact! That was one. Impact! Impact. Did you play a game for nine? Yeah. No. Suspect that far one, you just sailed right over it. Interesting. The 
The barricade we're shooting from is quite wobbly. It's on like an angle and it doesn't have a very wide footprint. So there is some movement in it. The last position as well, the platform that the rifle has to be supported by does pivot front and back. So there's, there's definitely some wobble in that barricade. And uh, the dumb thing was on my dope card, I write my elevation if I dial and then my elevation if I'm holding, but dialed for the first target. <laughs> what I did was I missed the far target twice, I believe, because I looked at the wrong column. So I was holding my reticle 4.7, uh, but that was my dial number. I should have been holding 3.3, and I didn't realize until after the stage the spotter told me I was sailing them over. Um, so that, that probably explains it. <laughs> so that was a bit unfortunate uh, mental mistake right there. So that's the uh, first mental mistake of the day. Stage seven was busy little minions. There were five minion targets, two at 90 yards, and three at 150 yards. There were three positions on the barricade to shoot from. In the first position, shooters would engage the close targets. In the second position, shooters would engage the far targets. And in the third position, shooter would engage the targets alternating far and near. <laughs> Shooter ready? Shooter ready? No, you go. Three, two, one, engage. the second last stage of the day with the minion targets which were really quite cute someone with some pretty good artistic design skills <laughs> painted those the wind has totally died down after that rainstorm came through so there's basically no wind now i deployed the tripod again just because it's a lot of fun to use and very stable i uh, managed to clean the stage 10 of 10. lots of high scores today not just on that stage but overall so uh, i'm definitely not in the running for anything but uh, it was uh, it's been pretty fun i have one stage left which is the uh, barricade stage. Stage 8 was barricade blitz. There were two targets, a round target at 150 yards and another round target at 215 yards. On the engage command, shooter would engage T1 and T2 with two shots each from the first position. Shooter would then choose another three positions and engage T1 and T2 with one round each from each of those positions for a total of 10 rounds. Time ready, stand by, engage. <laughs> Impact! 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 Impact. That's a hit. Huh? Impact, yeah. I can't hear the thing, so. It's okay. I looked, at, I looked at my thing and it was spinning, so. Impact! Uh, 
Not that time though, buddy. Yeah. Much time remaining for the rest of Like 45 seconds. Okay, I have you for eight. Sounds good. Um, one of the hits that I made on the far target, I saw it swing right. So I held a little bit left, um, but I still missed one after that. So I'm really not sure what's going on. Uh, kind of a, an unfortunate way to end the day, but the match was a lot of fun. Really fun targets from Chris Tischler as usual. And the horse was something that was pretty unique. Overall, I didn't really mess up any stages too poorly, but I was dropping a lot of points here and there that just felt like I should have got them. Um, but I just was really struggling, especially in the morning, building solid positions. My body just felt like it was like trembling, you know, it was weird. Uh, I don't know exactly what it was, but after the, the rain rolled in um, and I had a bite to eat, I felt a little bit better, but still struggling here and there. Some of the shots I missed, don't really have an excuse for. So a little bit unfortunate, I still shot okay over Overall, but some of the some of the shooters here today are scoring very high um, so good for them uh, I'm glad the wind died down in the afternoon and tomorrow we'll be back here for the x22 match How's that? Huge thank you to Chris Tischler for his amazing work. Very good. Always fun. It was a high scoring but fun, fun event. The wins made it challenging. Stages were sick. Yeah, you Super guys can start to see my brand, my stage. <laughs> his brand is like, it's on awesome. Instagram. <laughs> He's on Instagram. We have to go home and listen to the Sasquatch song. It'll make a little bit more sense. <laughs> oh. So we, uh, you know, thank you for being honest. <laughs> What's this piece of paper out there? So first, uh, the first prize, so Cabela's joined us as a sponsor this year. They've shipped us uh, a scope for top female shooter of every match this year. And uh, top female shooter of this match, I don't even look, it's Jess Tischler. Congratulations. Hold this. And I get a picture. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, only one youth registered today. Uh, and they won. Yeah! Top youth just Tischler. Uh, for production, this will make some people very happy. Third place production, Karen Duncan. <laughs> Congratulations, Kurt. Thank you. In uh, second place production, Howard Magda. Coming up in the clubhouse. Yeah. Go, so Howard. <laughs> Good job, Howard. Thank you. Thank you very much. There were 10 people in production today. Uh, in first yeah, place, really good job. Andrew Vincent. So now we'll do uh, open division. Third place, open division. Matt Murphy. How many points? 95 points. Out of how many? Out of uh, 103. 108. 103. 103. 103. Uh, second place, sorry, I got distracted. Julian Derrico. Score. I 
tank stage and three before that, so 97. 97. John is chasing me for that. Sorry, we're supposed to do. Look at this. Spoiler alert. Right, thank you. Uh, first place, score of 101 points, John Gingrich. That's a good shoot. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Nice work, buddy. Thanks, thanks. You suck. Yeah. You dropped two points. Where did you drop them on? Yeah, just. What stages did you drop them on, John? They were early, I think. John, what stages did you drop them on? I timed out on the tank trap and lost one there. And the stage after the horse, whatever that was. Minions? Minions. Child play. Child play. Child play. Child play.